Okay, so buzzword, right? Culture. Um, you hear it everywhere. Culture to me is nothing about anything other than behaviors, right? It's expectations, it's standards that you set forth, it's what you live by every day. And I'm not talking about necessarily your personal life, but it's how you come to the ballpark and your expectation of that. Um, if you were in the, the room yesterday, I talked about um, thinking and, and, and the mindset part of things. Mindset is nothing more than training thinking. Yeah, you can do all the, the breathing exercises that you want to do. You can do, um, you know, you, you, you can do some sort of meditation. It's all good. Um, but basically, I'm going to try to train my thinking. Um, I have an event. I respond to it in a certain way. And because I respond to it in a certain way, there's this outcome. And so that outcome is based on the response that I give. And that's what I'm after as a coach, right? I know that bad stuff is going to happen. It happens every single game. It happens every year. But the way that we respond to those things are kind of what makes the difference. So developing strategies for these guys when it does hit the fan, um, that's what I'm, I'm interested in. That's where culture comes into play, I think. Culture is about behavior, all right? Um, culture to me is, is the, that everything matters. To me, if everything has to matter, or it kind of seems to me that nothing really does matter. Um, I'm into small things. Uh, chaos theory. Chaos theory is butterfly flaps his wings in Kansas, creates a tornado in Nashville, right? And so what that means is that the smallest things affect big changes. And as a coach, we have a chance to affect those, those big changes with, with small things, with details every single day. I think as a coach, you gotta have double vision. Double vision is what's important today and then what's important in the big picture of things. You're not always gonna be, um, you're not always gonna be liked it when it comes to that, right? Because you do have to see the big picture. You guys have to deal with parents. Thank God I don't have to necessarily do that. Um, but you have to deal with a lot of different things, but you have to, to keep the big picture in mind, not only for the individual, for the team, um, you know, for the greater good. Um, but I think that you have to, to understand and figure out, and that's, that is what it is. I can't give you the answer to that. Figuring out what's important today for you and your group and figuring out what, uh, what, what's important for, for the future. And then the last piece on culture is 1%. I talk to our guys about 1% every single day. Um, and, and really, when you're talking about mindset and when you're building culture, it is talking about stuff every day. Whatever you think is important. Um, it, it's not something that you can kind of talk about every once in a while. Um, you, you know, it's, it's the whole thing. It's like at the beginning of the year, spring training, hey, we're going to do this, right? This is how it's going to work. And everyone's on board, and it's the last time they ever hear anything about that ever again, okay? So this 1% for me is the most important thing, and I'll just kind of put it in, in, in players' terms. If you train 300 days out of the year, right, and you expect 1% better from yourself each day, that's a 300% increase over the year, right? Would you guys take that? Every player in the room will say yes. Every coach in the room will say yes. Um, and, I'm, you know, I don't know if I can measure 1%, but I am going to go to practice with, with the idea of becoming 1% better. I am going to have a plan, um, not only for myself, but whatever's on that practice sheet. Um, and, I'm, I, and, and if I'm doing it right, I'm not going to leave that practice until like, I've satisfied the idea that maybe I have become a little bit better.